Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week number six of the PCL, and this is a really interesting matchup. We are against the Arkansas Razor Winds, and it's a really interesting matchup. I really kind of like my matchup. Unfortunately, I do kind of think that I have matchup advantage here. Uh, I am feeling a little bit more confident in my team building, but it's a it's a really I don't know. Regardless, we're going to see the Landorus, Zero Aura, the Kiram, Decidueye, Gyarados, and Tapu Lele. I actually pretty much predicted his team almost exactly correctly. Let me see. Uh, the only thing that I did not get correct is that I thought... I didn't think he would bring both the Landorus and the Zero Aura. I thought one of those slots would go to a uh, Swellow. But... I... But yeah, I, actually, everything that I have written down here is exactly what I predicted except for the Swellow. And I'm going to take that screenshot. Okay. So, super interesting matchup. Part of me wants to lead off with the Crocodile. I do have a Scarf to Moxie Crocodile. I don't want to reveal that too early. He's going to know that I'm a Moxie by going out too early. I might want to lead off with um, my Electros. That might be the play. Uh, it looks like his only... Hazard Setter would be the Landorus. Being able to Toxic the Landorus would be interesting early on. And getting a Toxic off on something would be interesting early on. I, I think I'm going to do that. With my... Um... Electros. So, I do have a Scarfed Moxie Crocodile. Which is super interesting because he doesn't have a true Dark um, Resist. He did have the Slurpuff, which he didn't end up bringing... Um... But he also has the Lele, which isn't a true dark resist. So I thought knockoff would be super free. If I do get to plus one off of a knockoff Moxie boost, and that would be incredibly interesting. Um, does lead off with the Zero Aura. I don't know. What do you expect me to come out with? Hmm, maybe the... Okay, I do like to lead off with um, Tornadus, to be fair. If nothing else, to be able to taunt any potential hazards. But I'm getting a Toxic off on something. He has no true toxic um switches in something's gonna get whittled down off of this and i don't think he wants to stay in in this situation um i could also super fang i think he would potentially want to bring in the gyarados maybe the tapu lele i think those would be the two most um likely brings maybe even the kiram honestly i'm gonna click toxic i don't think he stays in here i don't think he stays in here i meant to crack this open earlier but i didn't so uh, yeah, does just straight withdraw. Not even a Volt Switch. Maybe fearing my Crocodile? I'm not too, too sure. But does bring in the Landorus. I will be able to Toxic this thing. And I'll be able to get a Super Fang off on the next turn. Um, And I'll be able to U-turn out. He's not going to be too, too comfortable. I, I, part of me thinks that this thing is going to want to try to set up with a Swords Dance. And I do want to make sure. I do believe his... um main z user is a zero aura it is um this thing does not have any z moves available to it it could just try to swords dance and stone edge on me it could double dance on me i'm gonna click super fang i think regardless of what happens yeah it does just u-turn so i will get a big super fang off on something can he potentially heal bell i don't think so i don't think so no but um yeah i think i'm pretty comfortable I'm, I'd be pretty happy to get a, a Super Fang off on something. Maybe expect me to want an HP Ice. Um, in which case, he might want to go into the Gyarados right now. I don't know. Maybe the Kiram. I wouldn't be surprised about Tapu Lele either. I don't really have the best answers to Tapu Lele. But, I mean, who does really, you know? Um, if anything, Magirna can come in on that, I guess. Um, not really what I would love to do with it, but, um, does bring this thing back in. We'll get the Super Fang off. And we've been in this situation literally a turn ago. He could maybe expect me to want to... Oh, actually, I think that damage pretty much confirms a really offensive, likely adamant Landorus. I didn't even take a moment to look at that. So what, did about 50 points of damage, um, let's say, and yeah, that is definitely a max attack Landorus. We do get a Super Fang off on this thing, 
he could expect me to want a toxic and it honestly i'm gonna click knock off i'm gonna click knock off goes for a drain punch okay um not doing too too much damage knock off the assault vest Huh, I wonder what that is meant to... Oh, probably meant to deal with the Magirna most first and foremost. I probably just click Toxic, right? I don't really have much on this set that can deal with the Zero Aura. Or I could take this opportunity to try to U-turn out. I'm going to do that. If he Drain Punches, then it allows me to U-turn into my Crocodile. I can get a knockoff off. He's going to want to bring in the Landorus, most likely. I can just knock off the Landorus and then, at that point, sack Electros. Because Electros has been doing more than enough for me so far. It does go for the Drain Punch. But, um... Oh no, actually, I, I would want to... <laughs> probably want to go for E. Actually, no, i probably scare out the Zero Aura no matter what. If I go into the Crocodile. I just want to be sure. Actually, no matter what, item or not, item or not, um, a crocodile, a crocodile should KO a zero aura. So I go for it, man. Even if all that this does is uh, get a big knockoff off on the Landorus, I don't particularly mind. Especially seeing how offensive that Landorus was. I don't think that I might. I think, yeah, I think this is 100% um, the play that I want to make. It does go out in, into the Landorus. It does go out into the Landorus. And there's a fat knockoff. Alright, maybe not as fat as I would have liked. It does knock off the scarf. So now what does this thing want to do? I potentially go out into my Tornadus. But at the same time, I really think that this thing would want to maybe U-turn out. <sighs> I'm not sure what I want to do in this situation. I'm not sure what I want to do in this situation. He knows that I'm probably scarfed in a knockoff. I think he clicks U-turn. But it's still it's still a really strong Landorus, and I don't really want to take that much damage that much damage just early on. If anything, I would probably want to conserve some of that HP for later in the match. I probably go into I don't know. Do I really sack eel? I probably sack eel. All right. That's the play that I make. That's the play that I make. Eel's already done a bunch for me so far. The zero aura goes for the knockoff. That's fine. The Zero Aura and the Landorus are very much whittled down because of this, um... Because of this Electros. I really actually want to go into... Um... I really actually want to go into... Pyro. My Pyro is also Scarfed, but he does have... He does always have the Gyarados switch in. What do I want to do right now? If anything... Yeah. If anything, I just go into my Tornadus. This is my first time ever using a truly uh, offensive Tornadus. Um, Tornadus isn't Scarf... It's Life Warp Tornadus, which he's going to find out uh, in just a second. If And hopefully I land this Hurricane. Uh, now knowing that this thing is not Scarf... I, okay. Goes for the Stone Edge. Okay, that is, uh, that's something. 
I could click U-turn. Does he does he preserve this thing at all? He might. He might. I actually really want to click U-turn. Well, what would he want to bring in? He might bring in the Zero Aura straight up. He might bring in the Zero Aura straight up. Hmm. Honestly, a big part of me just wants to click U-turn. I don't know. I have to make a decision really soon. Um, if he does bring in the Zero Aura, there's nothing that I really am keen on sacking. Toxic is going to take it out no matter what, but I really don't want to take a fat Stone Edge. I'm going to click U-Turn. Okay, so no matter what... Oh, it does withdraw. Okay, I was going to say, no matter what, um, this thing would not go for a uh, for an Earthquake, so um, going into my Tentacruel should be relatively free. But, ooh. I do a bunch of damage to this um, Zero Aura. Now I for sure bring my Crocodile back in. And I think what I would like to do... I think I want a crunch. And no, I probably shouldn't do that. What I probably should do is click Stealth Rock. I, I think I just want to click Stealth Rock. Part of me think that this thing goes into um Gyarados. That wouldn't surprise me too, too much. But I don't know if you just want to give up this um, Zero Aura this early. I don't know. This could be a choke right now. I could honestly be choking this match away right now. Does let me get the rocks up. Does he go for a drain? Yeah, probably just goes for the drain punch. But he also knows that I am Scarfed, and he knows that I have to switch out. And I can honestly just probably go into... Hmm. No, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that yet. Maybe I do. Oh, no. I do want to do that. Okay. I'm going to go into my uh, Magirna. So, here's the thing. My Magirna is a uh, weakness policy. Goes for a Plasma Fist. Yeah, yeah, he knew that I had to switch out, and he probably expected me to go want to go into... Um, oof. Alright, that is a lot of damage. But, we know this thing isn't Scarfed, so we almost definitely outspeed this thing at plus one. Actually, no. Would this thing pack a Fire Punch? We've only seen Plasma Fist and Drain Punch so far, I'm pretty sure. Does go for another Plasma Fist. We will not be able to get off a our weakness policy, but um, we should outspeed his entire team knowing that the Landorus um, is, if assuming his Landorus is, is only Scarfer, that's been knocked off, and uh, this thing is not, and we know that this thing is not uh, Scarfed. So actually, yeah, I knew that I would have to get to plus four to shift gears, to outspeed this thing if it's Scarfed. But yeah, Dazzling Gleam should be my play. And... If 
Mm. The decision why I might want to come in here and shadow sneak me. If he does, then I misplayed that hard. I might have just um, choked that away with going for... It It all started with me going for the Stealth Rocks back on the Crocodile because that forced the sequence of plays that forced in my Magierna in um, at not the best time. But... I don't know. I'd be curious to see if the Decidueye does have the room on its set to pack the, um, to pack the Shadow Sneak. It also might, he also might have some other super defensive Mon. We have already seen the Assault Vest Mon with the Zero Aura, but I would not be surprised if he has another Mon designed to take hits. If anything, the Lele um, could definitely be designed to take some hits. And the fact that he's thinking this much uh, right now suggests to me that he doesn't um, have Shadow Sneak on the on the Decidueye. But regardless, even if he's just slow playing me, slow playing the clock, just to um, make me think exactly that. Um, in all honesty, uh, I would have to say the course because I don't outspeed anything. Yeah, it does bring this thing in, so... Very likely, very, very likely has, um, has Shadow Sneak, but at this point, I misplayed. <laughs> but I'm not too, too concerned. If this thing does have, um, Shadow Sneak, then it does allow my Crocodile in. Oh, okay. Does this thing take it? It does not. Okay. Um. So I'm now plus two with Soul Heart, and I don't think he has priority. I don't think he has priority. Um. I don't know. I don't know what his answer is. If anything, I think the Lele could have been his answer if it was. Does bring in the Lele. But at plus two, does Dazzling Gleam do it? I would be surprised if this thing is scarfed, but it's not out of the question, certainly. Dazzling Gleam has a chance to KO. Alright, so, a no bulk Lele. Dazzling Gleam has has a 43%. Oh, that's if it has four special defense. If it has no special defense, uh, I think it's a 50-50. Yeah, it's a 50-50, assuming no bulk whatsoever. But... I'm gonna get the Dazzling Gleam off. Oh, after rocks? I didn't even take into account rocks. I didn't even take into account rocks. It's guaranteed after rocks if it's a no bulk Lele, which it probably is. Um, if I had to guess, maybe Specs, Life Force, something like that, but um brings out the Gyarados. Which does take 25%. And um I was gonna say I was gonna click Thunderbolt, but obviously Dazzling Gleam is a play because it has to Meg Evolve on turn one, and um, this is gonna be a plus three. There's going to be a plus three uh, Dazzling Gleam coming in. Uh, let's see. I'd be interested to see what happens. Um, there's the Dazzling Gleam, and that's gonna be another KO. Uh, so what does he have left? He has the Kyurem and the Lander is left. So, um, Magirna might have won this match. I think? Maybe? Question mark? Brings out a Kyurem. Which takes another 25%. And, um, a plus four super effective stab Dazzling Gleam coming in. We'll leave... Uh, the final Mon being the Landorus, which is already very weakened, and uh, at this point we're at plus five with Soul Heart. We're plus five with Soul Heart, and um, I think that's going to be the match. I think I lost my Electros, and was that it? I think it might be. So this might have been a 5-0. Theoretically, it may or may not be a 5-0. And Ice Beam might get Magirna a sixth KO. Uh, that's gonna be the match. Um, definitely not the way that I would have thought this 
would have gone. And to be completely fair to my opponent, um, Shadow Sneak might have um, turned this game completely around. Um, in retrospect, he probably would not have wanted to bring it because primarily because of primarily the uh, psychic terrain. But uh, that's what, just what Magirna does, I guess. Man, Magirna with a soul heart after um, his two biggest threats got knocked off. Um, just kind of did the dang thing. That was a really insane match. Definitely nothing like that has ever happened to me in my uh, draft, draft league career. Uh, no single mon I think has ever gotten 6 KOs uh, and just swept with 6 KOs. Never even used the weakness policy, so basically an itemless mon. Um, regardless, that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the PCL and um, more things to come in the future. We... Uh, have a few leagues lined up for the next few months, which uh, should be a whole lot of fun, but we're going to get in a few more, but we're going to do whatever the heck we can in this PCL. I want to make a really fun run in this PCL, but once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and everyone, once again, out.